What do we have here? Now, this is a large antelope roast. Split in two. And we are going to marinate it. Now, marinating something is good for the meat. It helps make it softer. It gives it a taste, the taste that you want. The easiest thing to marinate anything in is in soda pop. Yeah, it's got high fructose corn syrup and all that stuff in there. But a sweetness. Now, I always like a sweetness in the meat. To give it a sweetness, regardless of the meat, particularly wild game, uh, you could use 7-Up, Sahara Mist, or any other brand that you like that's sweet, if that's the taste you want. Now, when it comes to liquor, or liquor, however you want to say it, uh, there's a variety of different things. No, I don't drink all this stuff, okay? But, it works great to marinate wild game and other meat, beef, things like that. Uh, you can use wine. The wine of your choice, whatever choice you want. The wine. If you want something that's not so sweet, you can go to different brands of liquor. You notice this isn't open. I got this as a gift. and <laughs> Like I said, I, I really don't drink. And uh, that'll work, Crown Royal or anything of that nature. Now we're going to get into some sweet stuff. Southern Comfort, sweet. Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. That's really sweet stuff. You really got to cut all this. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Then you can get into brandy, various different things of brandy. There's a little bit of brandy in each one. A little bit of brandy here. A little bit of Tennessee whiskey here. That was left. And I got thinking, well, why don't we go ahead and marinate something. So I went ahead, poured in soda pop. Sahara Miss in this case here. Again, you can use 7-Up. If it's sweet, if that's what you want, or anything that's naturally uh, sugared instead of uh, high fructose corn syrup. And mix it in there, shook it up, let it set for a little bit, took the cap off, poured it in here over the meat. And that's going to marinate for 24 hours in the refrigerator, in a cold refrigerator, cold environment. You can't obviously let it sit out or anything like that. So that will impart the flavor that you want. You take it out then, you cook it whatever way you want to. Good antelope recipe. Now, what I like to do too, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, lemon garlic seasoning, and you can also go for lemon and pepper seasoning if you so desire. So what I'm going to do here now, go ahead and Pour this on there, try to get a half a teaspoon. Now if I spill a little bit extra, that's just the way it is. You know, a lot of people go for a little, and I did. See, put that in there. There you go. Sometimes, too, you go ahead and mix up the marinade, and then put the meat in there. But I like to do things differently, as if you haven't noticed in some of my videos. But uh, I get the job done. A little bit here, a little bit in there. I don't know if I got more in there or more in there. About a half a teaspoon of that or so. And any other spice that you want. It just depends upon your taste, what you want. You can crunch up peppers, you can put chili uh, powder in it. You, you, there's just endless varieties of all kinds of different things. Again, what you'd want to do here, once you get all this mixed, uh, put in there, mix it up a little bit. And what that does, it seeps down through the meat and help soften it and then imparts the flavor that you're looking for in the meat. That's very important. Again, this is antelope or pronghorn. Pronghorn antelope shot right here in Colorado. This is a nice roast that we're going to let marinate overnight. Now normally three or four hours is good enough. We're going to go ahead and let this marinate overnight and again in the refrigerator. Now when we go to put it in the refrigerator we cover it up or you can get a dish that's large enough put on top there and do the same thing. So this is what we're going to do here. Put the aluminum foil over there, tin foil. And uh, put that in the refrigerator for overnight. Uh, the next day, we'll go ahead and pull that out, cook it any way we want, bake it, uh, cook it up in the strips and fry it, uh, use it for whatever. 
It's a good way to cook wild game or any other meat if that's what you like. Again, you can impart the sweet taste or not so sweet taste. Just depends upon what you want. But wine is always a good thing to use. Tell you what, you remember that roast the other day I was telling you about? Antelope roast, that pronghorn antelope roast? About how to go ahead and marinate it, let it sit for 24 hours in the refrigerator? Tell you what, we just cooked it for an hour and a half at 350 degrees. Now, I like my meat a little well done. Some people like a little bit rare, so you adjust the cooking time. Oh, you get it. Very, very sweet. Very good. I like this. This is very well done. It's tenderized. It's very good. You can add potatoes, carrots, whatever it is you want with it. You can uh, adjust the marinade to just a beer marinade if you want, or just a wine marinade or a liquor, because everything that you put in there is going to tenderize it, or just straight soda pop if you want. But what we put in there... When it comes to liquor, oh, probably about uh, about four ounces of liquor, and all the rest of it would be soda pop. So you can go ahead and mix and match whatever, and uh, makes it makes it great food. Great food. It tastes really good. I'm telling you what, it's great. Here, have a piece right here. Enjoy.